Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Hamid, Hamid Reza Bol Hassani and welcome to the third episode of Mobile Network Overview course. Uh, in the previous uh, lessons, uh, we talk about the history and the mobile network elements uh, and also a little about uh, terminologies. Here we continue with L location area. Uh, you know, in each generation of mobile networks such as uh, 2G, uh, 3G, 4G or 5G we have a terminology for uh, determ determining the location for example in the 2G we use uh, in 2G or GSM when I say 2G we can also say GSM we use uh, location area identity location area identity can be a, a large or a small area that consists of some cells This can be a location area, okay? And we define it by a location area identity. Uh, so uh, from the previous slide right now, you know what is MCC. MCC is mobile country code, uh, which is unique for each country. MNC is mobile network code. And LAC is location area code, which is unique which, uh, for each of these location areas, okay? Uh, and for this, uh, for each specific cell, we have uh, another terminology. Uh, uh, we have another terminology, which the name is what? GCI or CGI. I I heard both of them. CGI. Okay, cell global identity. So each of them is CGI. As you see, MCC, MNC, LAC which you see these are the same as the above and here we have a cell identity uh, for 3g we have another terminology we use uh, lai and uh, sai and sac service area identity here is service area identity so we don't have lai here we have sai sai and sac okay service area identity and service area code mm -hmm. for example when we talk in iran for example in mci operator uh, when we want to we want to uh, uh, for example define a lag lai location area code i think we can tell 432 for example for mci operator one one and this can be LA. okay uh, as I told for each generation of mobile networks we have a specific uh, method of uh, showing the areas uh, as we see for uh, for 2g as we saw for 2g we had LAI uh, CGI or GCI for 3g we had uh, SAI and SAC and as you see here for 4G LTE we have TAI TAC uh, what is TAI you see here uh, the answer is very uh, very easy because uh, this is in the uh, is shown in the slide it is tracking area identity one one idea just come to my mind maybe in the next uh, lessons I give you a question i give you some question and ask you to uh, give me the answer by email mm. it's some uh, something for your evaluation and maybe in the future i also uh, get started to communicate and have uh, cooperation with udacity or udemy it's it, it does it, these are uh, just some ideas that come came to my mind i also uh, uh, would be very thankful if you give me some ideas or uh, some comments or suggestions about my teaching or something else okay you see here MCC MNC and TAC and we will see that for example this is a TAI this is a TAI uh, there are all in a TA for example it is in TA2 which means this is tracking area 2 but different TAC Please, uh, please notice that uh, naming, naming and addressing is a very important 
naming and addressing is a very important thing in uh, telecommunication I mm, let me tell you a funny story uh, one mm, one time I was a consultant in a in an MVNO company uh, unfortunately some MVNO company uh, just want to uh, want to earn money they don't have the enough knowledge uh, 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 I think uh, not all of, all all over the world uh, at least here um, was some of them uh, and uh, they uh, I remember that in the planning of TAC the all numbers were same so it was a very trivial mistake so please uh, take care and get notice to this naming and addressing for all the nodes of uh, not only uh, location area for all nodes of the network uh, okay let's uh, till now we get some history we know the history of mobile networks uh, we get uh, a little familiar with the uh, architecture but very general and uh, uh, we also uh, tell you a little about terminologies okay uh, but from now on we should focus a little more on network elements okay for the network elements uh, at f uh, let me uh, get back to the first session as I told to you uh, we can uh, divide mobile networks to two areas which of them RAM radio access network and core network as I told and uh, as the uh, title of this course is it is the mobile network overview focused on core network okay so for core network, uh, we can uh, simply categorize them to CS, which is circuit switch, PS, which is used for packet switch, EPC, which is packet switch core for uh, LTE fourth generation, and also IMS, IP multimedia system, which is used for uh, Volta service and some other services, and also uh, in now and also in the future we have 5g c or ngc next generation core network okay so uh, but first first of all we will focus uh, we will focus on the first two of them which are cs and ps okay uh, so as it uh, maybe no cs or uh, so here, uh, let me uh, read it for you. Core network is split into CS domain and PS domain, but in a very simple uh, categorization, as we told, as we saw, many other uh, uh, classification can be done. But for the first, you can say CS and PS. CS domain is based on GSM or uh, original GSM network. PSM, PS domain is based on original GPRS network. Okay. Uh, so what is CS? Uh, all of you know, you may have uh, uh, studied the, uh, your books in computer network or some other uh, so, or somewhere else or also in the Wikipedia. Let me let me do a simple search. Oh, sorry. And uh, see what is circuit switch and let me tell you about this circuit switching is a method of implementing a telecommunication network in which two network as, uh, address in, in which two network nodes established a dedicated communication channel or circuit through the network before the nodes may communicate this is very important so may it is the point before the nodes may communicate, they should establish a dedicated communication channel. You got the point. So there should be a dedicated channel be before the nodes want to communicate. Okay? Like when I uh, want to call uh, or something like this. 
But let's see about packet switch. Packet switching in telecommunication, packet switching is a method, method of grouping data that is transmitted over a digital network into packets. Packets are made of header, header and a payload. So packets are made of a header and a payload. Data in the header is used by networking hardware to direct the packet into this destination. Mm -hmm. So this is the definition of packet switching. Packet switching is the primary basis of the data communication computer networks worldwide. Okay. So you got the point. Uh, so in CS domain, uh, before, uh, before the um, data communication, we should establish a dedicated channel dedicated channel or circuit uh, while in PS domain we don't need this uh, you uh, let's read this definition CS domain is used to provide circuit switch service network mode can support TDM ATM and IP physical entities include switching equipment such as MSC VLR GMSC HSS and so on and we will discuss them in details later and also interworking function and what about PS domain used to provide packet switch services network mode is IP physical entities uh, include SGSN, GGSN, charging gateway, border gateway and etc uh, okay so um, some slides uh, as, as you see here are used uh, Huawei uh, commercial nodes like msoft um, x3000 but is generally an mss mobile switch uh, or mobile switching center uh, some people uh, or some engineers say that msc mobile switching center refers to classic one which i will uh, discuss for you in later but some say uh, MSS mobile soft switch Let, let's discuss the difference in the uh, later but for now I um, for me no difference uh, both of them you should know uh, the definition and the function okay uh, so uh, let's review some I think uh, for this session reviewing this uh, the first three nodes of CS network is enough because in the later we will go through some details and um, hopefully in the next the, in the two next uh, session we will start the first scenario which is location update okay here if I say that uh, if you ask me what is the most important network element uh, in the for switching or the CS network I should say uh, MSC server or in some other um, opinion, I'm, I, I should say also HSS to you. But for now, please, uh, please keep in your mind that MSC server, which you, which you see here, is in the heart of uh, CS Core Network. The, um, it is uh, uh, one one point is very uh, one item is very important here. From now on, please keep in your mind that in each telecommunication architecture you should divide the network to two items in your mind CP control plane and UP user plane CP is responsible for signaling and UP is for service you should divide the nodes in the architecture in your mind to these two important categories okay so MSC server is totally for control layer uh, we will tell you from release 4 and later because in release 99 uh, I will tell you what is released or maybe no but in uh, uh, or maybe you know sorry uh, but in release 99 it was also responsible for both of them but in from release 4 later it is just for signaling control plane to realize mobility management 
call control and media gateway control you know in all of the mobile networks we have a node we should have we must have a node for mobility management because it is the it is the uh, how to say the heart of a mobile network uh, the name is mobile so we should have a node for mobility management uh, and this is a reason that in all of the generation you see this okay and also it will uh, uh, control the media gateway so what is media gateway as the name tells to us it is a gateway for media um, uh, we see the media uh, so we will think that it is related to up or service mm -hmm. in the other hand of msc server which is uh, which is responsible for signaling and cp it is the media gateway is for beer layer to to realize the exchange of voice and media flow for example when you when you hear the announcement or when i when i talk to mobile and the other party is hearing my voice so where this voice goes on this voice is handled by media gateway and also media gateway they will put them into some packets and ip backbone the routers will deliver them to another media gateway we will discuss very much in the next episodes and uh, simply we can say also it has some uh, other um, functions such as uh, transcoder transcoding is very important uh, i will start with transcoder in the next uh, next episode because it is a very detailed topic we should uh, talk about the codex very much call conference and ego cancellation okay so every beer or every vo uh, voice or media that you uh, you C is is handled by media gateway and also another node which is not a standard in gsm but you will see in the uh, real mobile network which is sg or stp the better name is stp the standard name a signaling transfer point it is the uh, the name the real name because sg maybe in that time i will <laughs> i use that from huawei uh, terminologies which they use hd7 okay to realize signaling transfer from mtp or from each other signal to another one okay i think uh, because i want to have the most efficiency i think for this uh, session is enough and we will go through the details we will go i will uh, start from uh, codec in the next session and we'll go through more details about the network nodes and also uh, release and architectures like r99 r99 and so on okay so uh, thank you for your time hope it was hopeful and i uh, hope it <laughs> hope it was useful and informative to, for you and uh, see you again bye